Hey guys, this is Kushal Griya. So as promised in the 500 subscribers video, this is the answer video for Ask AG. I'm going to answer the questions which you asked in Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. And as I promised, we have a special guest. Hey, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and you probably know me by the name of Kostup Devnath, which is my real name. But I'm basically the behind the scenes crew for Kushagra. I edit all of his videos and I came to Bangalore and I dropped by his house just for vacations and I thought we'd do a collab or two, maybe make a video. So this seemed like a perfect opportunity to make a Q&A video with me. I also have a YouTube channel, so you can definitely subscribe me over there, uh, youtube.com slash kdcloudy. So we got plenty of great questions from uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube comments. So I'll basically go through all the questions and I'll read them out. And Kushagra will follow them with the answers and we'll follow uh, through all the questions uh, with no particular order. So yeah, without further ado, Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first question of the day comes from Pragati Reddy 12 and this is like a, more like an FAQ. A lot of people have asked a similar question and the question is that who is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration for fingerstyle guitar I would say none other than Sunga Jung because he is just brilliant and he's the guy whom I first watched way back in the year 2013 and his first video was Gangnam Style which I watched and I was really intrigued by the way he played and that's when I actually thought that yeah I should also try something like that so he's my inspiration. Okay so the next question comes from Utkash.348 and he asks uh, how did you find time for this which is YouTube and still keep your grades high? Um, if you're passionate about anything you should definitely find out time and you will find out time uh, it may be cricket, football or any other hobby it just depends on how you how much are you into it and how passionate you are towards your stuff and how dedicated you are so yeah all i would like to say is that you can find out time just don't waste your time much and yeah so you yeah. can definitely do definitely work. agree with his answer because even i'm a youtuber and it's sometimes hard to find and strike a balance but just as just as he said uh, if you don't waste your time doing stuff like playing games or things which don't really matter and focus on something which you really like doing you can definitely find out time, it's not really a big deal. Okay, so the next question comes from AK02 underscore X and he asks, who gave you the idea of starting a YouTube channel? The idea of starting a YouTube channel... This guy. Because he was the one um, whom I was in touch with for a really long time, like five years now. Uh, he was uh, the one who started his channel before me, like five months before me or something. And I was really intrigued by the, uh, and I was extremely impressed by the way this guy's channel was actually progressing and yeah, and he was the guy who was telling me to and motivating me to open up my channel and I was getting inputs from many other people to start my channel. So yeah, those were the inputs from which I thought let's start a YouTube channel. I really appreciate those comments Kushagra, but yeah, let's move on to the next question. Uh, Blahaha.0703 asks where do you get your tabs and arrangement from uh, well it all depends on the song and the video which i'm doing um it's all varied sometimes i do it from different youtubers sometimes it's my own arrangement sometimes i improvise other youtubers arrangements so yeah it's all mixed up it's not uh, consistent or it's all the time varied uh, okay so the next question comes from king meg xo and she asks what are your future plans for your youtube channel my future plans for YouTube channel would be having collaborations with vocal artists and YouTubers, uh, fingerstyle YouTubers and yeah and that's what I'm thinking to do but I'm not sure if I would be able to implement it right now because I have 11th grade starting and I'm not really sure how much time I could take out for YouTube but let's see. Okay so the next question comes from uh, the great Nishim and he asks who is your favorite guitarist? Um, it's a tricky question to be honest because there are many guitarists who are just too good and they are all unique in their own ways and it's very tough to pinpoint who is actually the best but in my opinion I would say it's Andrew Foy because he is the one who makes brilliant arrangements, his videos are on point, his production quality is good and he uploads the videos very consistently so I would say Andrew Foy. Yeah, even I like Andrew Foy a lot. Hmm. Really good. nice channel. Okay, so the next question comes from Miradul Ayer and he asks, how will you celebrate reaching 1000 subscribers? 
1000 subscribers is some far fledged thing right now but uh, i'm not actually decided what to do in 1000 subscribers but i'll do something special i'll well, it won't be that far fetched i was in 500 subscribers back in january and now it's like just me and i'm in you know 1100 so anything can happen you can't really say it's far fetched okay so the next question comes from suraj this one is an interesting one and he asks how many girls have you flattered with your guitar skills and also what's your favorite guitar oh uh, i would say quite, quite a, a bit. bit jinx and also what's your favorite guitar <laughs> favorite guitar uh, the guitar which i'm using i'm actually very much satisfied with that but the baton rouge guitar i'm really like a dream guitar right yes moving on to the next question uh, we have tonoy sen gupta and he asks how many people from your school watch your videos and does it help with your popularity well uh, definitely yes because uh, being a youtuber is something very unique i would say and in school many people know me that yes i have a youtube channel and it's sort of a different identity i would say for me and a huge chunk of viewership and subscribers i get from my school mates and yeah so that's like school is basically the starting point where you can uh, basically start publicizing your channel yeah, exactly. and uh, grow your viewership from there so mm. school definitely has a chunk of in the definitely has a chunk in the viewership overall yeah the next uh, question comes from uh, Tolika Kapoor and she asks how did you get to know KD Cloudy that's me and also how many retakes does it take to shoot a video and ever considered singing along while playing with the guitar a couple of great questions so yeah so i'll address the first one how did i get to know KD Cloudy he was my classmate in 6th grade and yeah. then he shifted to delhi but we were still in touch and we are still in touch through facebook power of uh, social media yes and um, since 5 years we are uh, very close friends and uh, also how many, how many take? retakes it depends on the song completely depends on the song uh, complex songs will take lot of time easy songs definitely less but uh, like attention which we which was the last video uh, before this video uh, it took a couple of retakes and it yes. basically it's all up to the editing and the last five to is, six retakes in average yeah, uh, and have you considered singing along <laughs> i can't sing i just cannot sing and to take blessing in disguise to be honest uh, not singing is the reason why i started playing fingerstyle guitar because i just can't sing and fingerstyle guitar is itself one packet so it's just sounds good it doesn't so good. require vocals yeah it doesn't also. require vocals so yeah i just started fingerstyle for that uh, so the next question comes from manas murthy this one's an interesting one again kfc or mcdonald's or taco bell uh mcdonald's not sponsored <laughs> okay so this one is an interesting one again uh tech instinct asks do you have a gf/crush no i am single i don't have a crush So the next question comes from Tejaswini MS and this one too is a frequently asked question we've got similar questions like this and she asks when did you start learning the guitar so i started learning guitar when i was 13 in the year 2013 but i started fingerstyle guitar just a year ago 2016 february okay so the next question comes from Rachel Wu and she asks are you self taught uh, yes self taught 100% motivational <laughs> Uh, so the next question comes from Ritwik Shandilya uh, Peter Garge or Eddie Van Der Meer or Sunga these are professional guitarist youtubers if you don't, didn't know already um it's very tough to choose to be honest all are unique in their own way but yeah like it's very tough to compare all these three it's not good to compare i would say okay so the next question comes from Shubhangi Shailendra and she asks what drives you to learn new songs and make videos and where do you see yourself at the end of 2017 uh the only driving force i would say is the passion and dedication and the fun i get making videos when i started making videos i was just like just for the sake of making it but when i actually got more into it i was really really enjoying it and i'm still enjoying it 
and so yeah so i would say dedication passion and the fun i get making videos is definitely the thing which makes me makes me make, make more more videos, more videos. and uh, where do i see myself by the end of 2017 uh that's a good question i would say i want to see a thousand subscribers on my channel so yeah i want to touch that four digit figure of my subscribers okay so the next question comes from himanshu sagar and he asks number 1 uh, what was the first song you ever learned second ever thought of quitting finger style guitar and try some other form and third is okay maybe i'll update it later <laughs> so two yeah. questions basically yeah so addressing the first question the first song i learned was mary had a little lamb <laughs> but first finger style song was lean on and ever thought of quitting no basically i got more into it and i'm more enjoying finger style as of now uh, maybe i'll try some other forms later not sure now the next question comes from cs manju who asks since you are self taught i think you are the best person to suggest can you tell me some good website or youtube channel to learn finger style guitar so there are quite a few uh, to list out some of them i would say gareth evans andrew foy peter gagai and uh, eddie vandermeer uh, because they have uh, provided tabs and they have good videos and you can actually learn from them because those are the ones whom i have learned finger style guitar from uh, links for all these channels will be in the description yes. so the next question comes from ronak chatterjee cricket or football if football ronaldo or messi if cricket dhoni or kohli quite an inception i must say cricket or football both i cannot just decide between both of them ronaldo or messi ronaldo uh, dhoni or kohli kohli <laughs> so there's that okay so last question for this episode comes from nidhi r and she asks you started your channel a year back did you expect your channel to do so well no just no um when i started the channel i really didn't even have it in my wildest of my dreams that i'll touch something like a 500 subscribers 500 subscribers sounds less but but it was just an achievement for me to be honest it's like halfway of 1000 and i had seriously not expected this and thank you so much for all that support i try to make better and better stuff pretty much every youtuber says this even pewdiepie didn't have any idea that he would have 50 million subscribers when he started so yeah it's all about dedication and persistence i would say and even i didn't have any idea that i would hit 1100 subscribers the day i started my channel so yeah i think that wraps it up that's been it for this video and that's the answers yeah thank you so much for watching probably catch you guys in the next one cheers cheers <laughs>